All right, so one of the things I like to do when I'm designing a course is come up with an effect, a special effect or a special design kind of technique or effect, and then use that subtly throughout. So in this case, I want to share with you another kind of idea here, and that is this picture cube effect, this picture frame, where you take an image and you actually position it across multiple um, squares or objects or shapes in your course, but then only revealing a certain part of it. So each of these is sort of a standalone square that we've just actually uh, repositioned the image to fit in a specific location. These are all default presets. So it's kind of a nice effect, right? But what do you do with it? Well, one possibility is just to use it more as a backdrop that kind of fades into your course. Another might be to um, use it for a navigation technique, again, where you could click each piece and go to a different part of it, and almost like a puzzle piece. And the fun thing about this effect is that you can actually, once you've created it, you could quickly change the shape that's used. So you're not really limited to, say, the square, right? So we could come up here and maybe do the cone or something if we're doing a course. Um, I don't know what that looks like, a castle maybe. Anyway, you can change those shapes around. So let's look at how we can put this together. So it's based around a, at least initially, as a square. So in this case, it's, this is not a square. So what I want to do is insert a shape, a square shape, hold down the shift key just to constrain the proportions, and then once I've done that, I'm going to duplicate it and just move it around. Actually, this always helps if you have snap objects to grid. And then duplicate it again. So I'm just going to make nine shapes real quick. Okay, so let's do this. I'm just going to make these a little bit smaller. It doesn't really matter. Okay, so I just grouped them and then resized them. So what I want to do now is I'm going to take this image, and depending on what part of this image I want to show, I want to move it around. So at least I get the majority of the people right here within the square, okay? Because this image is larger than my square, I want to resize this. So I'm going to click Crop and just get it somewhere around here just so it fits within the, uh, within the square shape. Right? So if I were making it larger, I could have stretched these, these cubes out longer and made it more of a rectangle. Square is always a good place to start. So let's go ahead and just take that image, and I'm going to save it now out as a picture. So save as picture. All right, so just call it square picture. Save. Now I can go ahead and just move this off to the side or delete it. And I, I don't really need it at this point. So now I'm going to go and just fill each of these rectangles. So right-click, choose Format Shape. And then from here, I'm going to select Picture. And it got another picture, so I'll just click the File button. And I called it Square Image. Okay, but what I want to do is I want to tile this image, so select Tile, and then up here, top left, right? So I select the next image, and this is kind of great that the, uh, the format shape window stays open. So Picture Fill, this time it'll remember the last picture, just do Top. Select the next one, Picture, Top Right, and so on. And because uh, PowerPoint actually has all of these positions right here in the, in the um, oops, left, in its drop down, it quickly aligns these where they need to go. So center, in picture, right? So you get the idea. And then what the great thing is, is once you actually built this, you can start applying it to different shapes. So you can change the shape to a circle or anything else that you want to look at. But it's a really nice effect. Of course, you know, sometimes these effects work best when they're subtle effects. But being able to do this within PowerPoint then having that initial shape that you can use to modify or, or blend in with the background elements is a really nice feature to have, especially when you're trying to look for ways to uh, design your courses.